Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. There are three groups in a table at position 1, 2 and 3. So we have to accept the integer p that is the position and the n and the n pass as the input. And then a ball is hidden under one of the cup p. And for each pair that is x comma y, the cups are swapped. So we have to print the position of the ball after n swap. So now we will take our first test case. So here we have n as 4 and p as 2. So we have 3 cups that is 1, 2 and 3 and the first swapping is done between 1 and 2. So when 1 and 2 are swapped, we'll get 2, 1, 3. And after that, it is 3 and 1. So when 3 and 1 are swapped, we will get 3, 1 and 2. So after this, when 1 and 2 are swapped, we'll have 3, 1, so 1, 3, 2 for this one and then when 3 and 1 are swapped, we'll be having 2, and 1 so 2 3 1 for this one so the four swapping has been done and finally we get 2 3 1 and here the position of 2 is in 1 so 1 will be our output now we'll take our another test case So in this test case, we have n as 4, that is we have 4 swap and the position that we have to get is 3. So there are 3 cups and for the first one, the swapping is done between 2 and 1. So these two positions will be changed. So 2, 1, 3 and then we have 3 and 1. So for the position 3 and 1 will have 3, 1, 2 and after this we have 3, 2. So when the positions of 3, 2 are swapped then we'll have 1, 3, 2 and finally it is 2, 1 and when 2, 1 are swapped we will get 3 1 2 so when 3 2 is swapped so finally we will get 1 2 3 and after that when 2 1 is swapped we will get 2 1 3 so finally we can see that 3 is in third position so 3 will be our output now let's see how to solve this program so first we have to get our input the number of swap and the position using map and after that we'll have the list cups as 1 2 3 and after that we'll be iterating from 
CTR zero to n, and during this iteration, we'll get the input x and y, and that will be using map. And after getting x and y, we have to decrement x and y by one, and after that we have to swap. So the cups of x and the cup of y will be swapped with cups of y and cups of x. So after swapping is done, we are going to print the cups dot index of p plus one as the output.